Good evening, everybody. DJ Styles. Okay, I made my case uh, for the Night Creeper 20, uh, 1978. I'm tired. I've been at it since 8 o'clock this morning with this thing. Anyway, I had to make a special type of base. It's sanded acrylic. This way, when I put the stencil on this thing and then take the stencil off, the whole base gets painted black except for where the stencil is. And then LED lights will be inside of that and over top of the, the whole uh, mask. And then what will happen is, as that changes color, so will the, the Custom Corpses Night Creeper 1978. Uh, that's the display case. I just finished it. I still have to put a little bit more. So it needs some touching up. I got to get some smudges off, but that's no big deal. Just my fingerprints. It's not glue. So this will be over at Patty's Party World. The display. Uh, oh, probably. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna try and get it there by Friday. I'm hoping I can get the uh, the base all finished up and the lights inside over top of the mask to give it a really cool look and it'll be on display over at Patty's and uh, there you will see the price <laughs> of that mask that mask is going to be for sale but this is the display only it's not for sale it's foam filled can't sell it anyway um, but uh, that's the display that's the large mask that's the big that's as big as it gets and then I have um, the smaller mask right here. That's uh, from the brow around the head circumference is 25 inches. And uh, this large one here is 27 inches. So 27 versus 25. Um, might be 26, but by the time it shrinks up a little more, it'll probably be closer to 25 and a half or something like that. And uh, I started painting. I got a mess over here, guys. I just pulled this guy uh, yesterday afternoon, late afternoon. And uh, that's got to cure up some more, but that's looking good. Case is all set. I've got three masks that will be up, uh, ready for sale. Um, I still got to paint them and hair them, but that's tomorrow's project after I get the case completed. I have to get the case completely done. So, uh, with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, I'm sorry, I am I'm breathing heavy and I'm tired. I'm so tired. Whew. Wore myself out today. That case is no fun, that, that doing that acrylic. Um, it's a big, big display case. And uh, not an easy task, trying to get that thing put together and making sure you don't get any smudges on it or glue. Thank God the glue dries almost instantaneously when you put it together. Strong bond, too. It actually melts the, the, the plexiglass together. It doesn't, uh, it's not a glue. So, anyway, that's, that's the case. These are going to be the three masks. I started toning this with the flesh tone. I like to do these by hand. I'm sorry, I'm not a big airbrush fan. I like the airbrush, but it doesn't, it takes away some of the, it makes it too smooth looking. I think uh, uh, I'm going to keep layering the, the flesh until I get it the right, where I want it. I've only just started. I just put a, a flesh wash on it. And what it does is it gives you variations in tone. You see? It gives you variations, and that's that's a good thing. That's what you want. You want variations in, in the color. I thin it out with a, uh, I, I use my latex mask paint, and I thin it out with uh, distilled water. And, uh, and it's, uh, it, it's, it just works great. It works great. You just got to do a little bit at a time, get it to where the tones are right. Might go a little darker underneath the chin and down around the neck area. Not too dark in the face, but just giving you variation of color. Then I'll splash this with, now I will spray it with the white. That gets sprayed, but I use a big sprayer for that. I don't use an airbrush. 
I am going to switch to an airbrush, but I just got to get a better airbrush. The airbrush I got is just not good enough for that kind of uh, detail. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. And uh, I only did this. I put a little wash on this yesterday just to see what the see if I got the tone of the uh, flesh color where I want it. And I got it spot on. It's a good color. Anyway, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. I know it's right around the corner here. What are we, uh, Wednesday? Hump day. Yep. So, peace. Have a good day. Happy 4th.